Hi everyone, we would like to find the moment of inertia of a triangle about the space. So this is a triangle let's say and we would like to find the moment of inertia of this triangle about its base. So let me name this triangle as triangle L M N. So this is the base of the triangle friends. So about the base we would like to find the moment of inertia. Now the question is how to find the moment of inertia. Suppose if we have any area or section and we want to find the moment of inertia of this particular section about this axis let's say so the basic idea is so what we do is we hi everyone we would like to find the moment of inertia of a triangle about the space so this is a triangle let's say and we would like to find the moment of inertia of this triangle about its base so let me name this triangle as triangle l m n so this is the base of the triangle friends. So about the base we would like to find the moment of inertia. Now the question is how to find the moment of inertia. Suppose if we have any area or section and we want to find the moment of inertia of this particular section about this axis let's say. So the basic idea is so what we do is we take small area let's say there is a small area DA which is situated at distance R from the given axis. This is the axis about which we are interested to find the moment of inertia or area moment of inertia of this section. So the moment of inertia of this area above this axis of rotation is called as small moment of inertia or infinite decimally small moment of inertia and that is r square dA. So the total moment of inertia will be given by integrating the small moment of inertia that is r square dA. Okay? And there will be certain limits depending on the situation. So like that only we shall be considering a small area here and also its distance from the axis. So I am going to consider a thin strip of small area like this. So this is a thin strip I am considering. So this thin strip is having very small area or infinite decimally small area. Let us say the thickness of this thin strip is, is very small thickness. I am going to call it as dy. dy because it is along the y axis. This is the y axis friends and this is the x axis. So I am calling it as a small thickness a very small thickness dy. The distance of this thin strip from the base of the triangle I am going to call it as y. So this distance is y. The height of the triangle is h. So distance from tip would be h minus y. Distance of thin strip from base is y and distance of thin strip from the tip is h minus y because overall height is h. Now let me say the length of the strip let me call as l from here to here. So now similar to this explanation I have considered a thin strip having very small area. So area of this thin strip I am going to call as dA. Okay. So we, sh we shall first find out the moment of inertia of thin strip about the base. So let us do it. So we have considered a thin strip over here considering a thin strip of thickness dy at distance y from base. This is a very important point friends. So we have considered a thin strip of thickness dy at distance y from the base. Okay. So now if I say the area of thin strip therefore the area of the thin strip is going to be very small. I am going to call it as dA and that is nothing but length times thickness friends. Length times thickness dy. Now from geometry I can write down from geometry itself there is a very simple idea. This length divided by base will be same as h minus y divided by entire height. So length by base of triangle equal to this distance that is h minus y divided by the total height of triangle that is h. So from here you will be getting L equal to h minus y divided by h times b. Now we want to find the moment of inertia of the triangle about the base. So first of all I will find the moment of inertia of this thin strip. Okay. So I will say that the moment of inertia mi of thin strip about base. So this moment of inertia is going to be a small moment of inertia and that is equal to let us say di. d stands for small quantity and that is equal to the distance is y. So y square and times the area of strip is da. Okay. Now I would like to find the moment of inertia of entire triangle. So I will have to integrate this. So moment of inertia of triangle about its base is given as let us say i 
equals the integration of small moment of inertia that is y square dA. Now, in this particular case, the limit of y, y is a variable here. So, limit of y will be starting from y equal to 0 here, the value of y is 0 friends and up to here the y equal to h that is height. So, y equal to 0 to y equal to h. Okay. So, like this we will integrate and if you simplify this again we will get y 0 to y h and the value of y square will be as it is. The d a small area of the strip is nothing but l into d y and the value of l is h minus y divided by h into b. So, h minus y divided by h times b. This is the value of l into dy. So, this is l into dy friend. This value is l. From here to here value is l. Okay. So, l into dy like this we got. This b is constant and h is also constant. b is the length of the base and h is the height of the triangle. So, b by h will be coming outside the integration. Now, inside the integration we will have y square times h. There is going to be y square h or h y square you can write down h y square and then y square into y is going to be y cube times dy. Now, we have to integrate this friends. Therefore, the moment of inertia of triangle is going to be now b by h is uh, constant which is going to be outside here integration of y square is going to be y cube by 3 h is constant so h y cube by 3 minus integration of y cube is going to be y raised to 4 by 4 and limit is 0 to h so now we will put the upper limit so upper limit is h so this is going to be h times h cube by 3 so here b by h is outside h times h cube by 3 that is h raised to 4 by 3 minus this is also going to be h the upper limit is s so h raised to 4 by 4 and when you put 0 all these values are going to be 0 so this is the final answer you are going to get now h raised to 4 by 3 h raised to 4 by 3 if you simplify this this is going to be 4 h raised to 4 and 3 h raised to 4 so if i simplify this here you will be getting b by h this value is 4 times h raised to 4, 3 times h raised to 4. So, 4 minus 3 is going to be 1, h raised to 4 by 12. And here we have h, so h gets cancelled out. So, we will be getting b h cube by 12. Therefore, moment of inertia of triangle about its space, that is i, equals b h cube by 12. Okay, so this is the final expression of moment of inertia of a triangle above its base. Thank you very much.